Hi, my name is Leah Maston, and I'll be your guide. I have yet to meet a successful person without an address book full of names going back to their high school years. And like most business owners, professionals, and executives, I have one too. But my contacts are in three different places. People close to me are in the contacts app on my iPhone. My business related contacts from Gmail are mostly in Google Contacts. And many of my past connections are still in a pile of business cards. Having contacts in different apps and places is a mess, and I'm not alone in facing similar problems. That is why Konstantin Monastersky and Vinath Kumar, the founders of Scroll, decided to develop a contacts organizer app to resolve them. They started by fixing one of my longest annoyances. The iPhone's contacts app lumps together my personal contacts on iPhone and my business contacts from Gmail into a single list. And I hate that. With Scroll, I can use this menu to open only my personal contacts, switch to my business contacts in Gmail when needed, or view all of them in a single list, as the iPhone does. In addition to Gmail, I can add address books from Outlook, Yahoo, AOL, Microsoft Exchange, and other corporate directories compatible with iPhone. Even more amazing, you can use Scroll to help your grandparents or kids maintain their address books from your iPhone or share yours with your assistant. Next, we added a fast and accurate business card scanner right into Scroll that finally helped me to clear out my old pile of cards. Here is Constantine's business card. Let me show you how this works. I tap the plus icon to select the scan business card command. Next, I point the camera to the card and it takes its photo automatically. Finally, I tap the save button to open the edit folder with all the scanned information added to the matching fields. Here are Constantine's first and last names, company name, position, work and mobile phone numbers, email address, website name, link to his Twitter account, and our office address. Optionally, I can save the photo of his business card inside the folder, and it will appear here. All of it in just 12 seconds. And I am definitely in business card heaven. Well, inside the folder, let's go back to the top to add Constantine's photo from the web. First, I tap the search icon to select the Photos and Images command. The app opens the web search page with his public photos. I tap down the one I like, select the Share command, and tap the scroll icon to return to the app. Finally, I adjust the image inside the frame and tap Add. Here is Constantine's new photo, all done in 15 seconds. After adding all of the people from my business cards archive to scroll, it makes sense to organize them into groups, such as doctors, lawyers, or accountants, because groups are the fastest way to find related people. Here's how fast and easy it is. First, I tap the search field to select the Match Any Word option to find everyone with the MD, DDS, DC, or DVM prefix. Here are all 11 physicians, dentists, chiropractors, and vets in my scroll. Next, I tap here to select the Create a Group command, type Doctors, and tap the Add button. All done in 16 seconds. The next time my dog may need a vet, I would tap here to open the list of groups, select Doctors, open Dr. Wang's folder, and tap a dialer icon to call for an appointment. And this is my favorites group in the gallery mode. The icons on the right are the apps I last used to contact these people. This way, I don't need to remember who prefers a straight call or a text, FaceTime, WhatsApp, or any other app. Since Constantine prefers texts, I would tap the messages icon to open a list of commonly used templates. Next, I tap, sorry, I'll be late. Select the length of the delay, and the messages app opens up with a personalized text. Constantine, sorry, I'll be 15 minutes late. All done in just 10 seconds. It's even faster than Siri, which I'd rather not use at work or in public places. Adding people's photos is just as fast, and I can do it right from the gallery. I can tap here to open a camera, hand over my phone to a friend, and ask her to take a selfie that will go right into her folder. Or I can tap here 
to add a picture from my photos library. Or I can add a photo from the web as I did earlier for Constantine. I love having good quality recent photos because I dread failing to recognize a former friend at a class reunion, forgetting a coworker's name during a meeting, or missing to acknowledge a distant relative at a wedding. Right before the event, I would go to the family group, open the first folder, and swipe from person to person to refresh my memory for faces and names. I find having this option very useful before meeting with people I don't see often. Please note that for privacy reasons, all people and places in this video are made up fictional characters. Of course, Constantine and I are real, and our own address books look very similar. Next, we focused on improving search because finding someone fast among hundreds, let alone thousands of records, isn't always easy. But not so with scroll. When I need, for example, to get to Constantine's folder fast, I slide my finger along the alphabet strip, stop on the letter M, select the second letter of his last name, and here is his record. Or I simply tap the mic icon and say, Constantine. The app instantly located his records in the iPhone contacts and Google address book, even though it translated my voice into a Constantine with a C instead of a K. That's because the voice search is phonetic, meaning the names don't need to be spelled exactly. When that's not enough, and you need to find anyone by their first or last name, use the search by name option. As you type John, James, and Smith into the search field, the app displays all matching 22 names in the list below. To select another search option, tap here. The search by field command lets you locate anyone in a specific field, such as a company, position, or phone number. I select the phone number field and type 201 and 973 area codes. Here are all 49 people in these two New Jersey area codes. Next, I select the match any search word option to find all people whose names match Jim, James, and Jimmy. Here are the seven matching contacts. This search is helpful when you don't remember someone's first name exactly. The match all search words option helps me find only people matching one or more search words. This way, some years later, I can easily find someone I met in New York named John. And here he is, John Bagwell in New York. And in a rare case, all previous searches fail, I can sort the list view on any available field, such as the city, and simply scroll it up or down until you locate the desired name in Montclair, New Jersey. As you can see, no matter how large your scroll may eventually become, you'll always be able to find the people or companies you are looking for. The next important improvement is recurring reminders. With Scroll, I no longer worry about missing a birthday, anniversary, or any other significant event in the life of my relatives and close friends. Here's how they work. The Reminders icon lights up with a red dot when there are pending reminders to ensure I don't miss them. Here are the two most recent expired events and five forthcoming. I can adjust how many reminders are displayed before and after today in the settings. A tap on the reminder lets me decide what to do with it. Send a gift, add it to the calendar, snooze it for five days, turn it off until the next year, make a call to wish a happy birthday, send an email, post a greeting on Facebook, or anything else fitting the occasion all right from here. Everything I showed you about Scroll up to now was about helping me to contact people faster and easier. To help new people I meet contact me just as fast and easy, I flip my phone into a horizontal position to show my business card. To add me to your phone, point your camera app to the QR code and tap my name. Then scroll down the page and tap the Create New Contact command. Added. When I don't want to share my QR code for privacy or safety reasons, I tap it to show my photo instead. I can also swipe down like this to show my real business card. Actually, I have more than one card on my phone, each one with its own information. 
This one is my personal card with my home address, phone number, and personal email that I share with friends and family. This card is in French. It has my hotel name and address in Paris to show taxi drivers because I don't speak fluent French. And when needed, I can add even more cards to fit any occasion. I'm sure you too will find these touchless cards indispensable for your work, travel, and networking in the post-COVID era. Finally, and most importantly, any people, places, or groups I add, edit, or delete inside Scroll are near instantly updated in all other apps and devices. This way, the Contacts app on my iPhone, iPad, MacBook, Google Contacts on Work PC, and even Apple Watch will continue working with all the same contacts, scroll or no scroll. What I have shown you is just the tip of the iceberg. Scroll has a ton of other unique options and features that you wouldn't find in any other contacts organizer for iPhone. Please review the rest of the site to learn more or download a free version of Scroll from the App Store right now. It includes all functions I've shown and will start working with your existing contacts, apps, and devices immediately. Thank you for watching and happy scrolling!